All right, guys, we are officially on our way. We are headed four hours to Spokane. We're gonna to try to get that trip done tonight. That way we only have about a seven and a half hour drive to Billings tomorrow. So we're gonna get some coffee and get out of Renton. I don't know, if you're from Renton, I don't know how you guys I'm do sorry. it. I don't know how you guys do it. We've been to a Walmart, a gas station, a Sonic, and just the the roads and the rental car agency man this place this place is is brutal i don't know if i don't know if you've never been here don't come here <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to offend anyone that lives in renton but man oh man is this place difficult nobody knows what they're doing oh wow all right we're gonna get coffee we're gonna get on the road so far so good but we've only done like 10 minutes so Somebody's feeling good. We are in a town, I believe, called Ritzville. We are somewhere between Seattle and Spokane. I think we're closer to Spokane than Seattle now. We've been through the Rockies already. The car is driving beautifully. This thing is so smooth, it's unbelievable. Corey's been sitting in the back. Mike's been up front with me which I'm thankful for because that back seat looks unbelievable. There's some like really cool cabin illumination back there. And Corey's just like the boss CEO sitting back there. You best believe I'm gonna be sitting back there most of this trip home. We stopped to uh, basically just go to the bathroom and hang out with this middle of nowhere cat at midnight. We are in Spokane, Washington, and we've made the first four hour stretch in the century. And it has killed it. You're in the back. You're like riding on a sofa. Uh, yeah, can't even tell I'm in a car. It's crazy. Things smooth as glass. So far, so good. First four hours down. We're going to make a seven and a half hour stretch to Billings in the morning. And uh, yeah, get ready for the TGC meet there. So we'll see you guys in the morning. There's a motor in there. <laughs> it's still there. We got plenty of oil in there. It definitely needs an oil change. But it'll definitely need an oil change when we make it to New Hampshire. So it is just about 7 a.m. We are in Spokane, Washington. And we're making the seven hour haul to Billings for our TGC meet there this evening. So, so far so good. We want to get some tape to cover the front of this thing up probably in Billings once we wash it. So we'll hit the road now and see how she goes. What's it smell like here, Mike? It smells like pine trees and a Yankee candle store. We are in Montana. We missed the sign. I was really trying to get a sign, the welcome to Montana sign, but it's like this big on a bridge that you go under in the middle of a mountain pass, so we missed it. But we are in Montana, uh, I don't know, four, five hours out from Billings. Car's doing well through the grade, which is awesome. Got a lot of climbing to do. I don't know if the transmission's got a cooler or not in this thing. I'm sure it does. It's a pretty heavy car. And she's a uh, full duty cycle on these hills.
No, I meant the the, the paint. Yeah. Like the old signage. We are in Missoula, Montana. We're gonna get some lunch. We just got off I-90. Car's running great. Uh, we're a few more hours in from when we saw you last. And we're at a pizza shop called Pie Hole. Sounds pretty good. So we're gonna see what that's all about. We're gonna run some errands while we're in town and then continue on the Billings. But yeah, this is Missoula. Really cool old brick industrial looking little town in the middle of nowhere, Montana. I love it out here. This, this, I, this is my first time in Montana and it is impressing me beyond words. This place is amazing. The weather's great today, so it's been awesome to drive through this, this state. This place looks pretty good. Yeah, I thought it was pepperoni salad. Yeah, please. No worries. I wish I had some slap Governor's Club stickers because we'd, we'd cover that, that power machine. Welcome to my new mobile office where I am working on the TGC America Tour YouTube videos from the road here in Montana. This thing is crazy. <laughs> we stopped in Butte, Montana, and we got fuel. We asked if there were any good local coffee shops and they directed us two blocks down to this sweet little log cabin called Florence Coffee. This whole, this whole series of episodes is turning into like coffee shop reviews, but it seems like Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks are the two main ones that we've been to. They're quick and easy. This seems really cool though. She's making these uh, iced pumpkin chais with real pumpkin. I'm pretty excited to try this out. Thank you. Thanks. This stuff is, is phenomenal. Amazing. Wow. My face is exploding right now. Dude, once it starts to get cold, it's so good. Wow. We are in Billings, Montana. Billings, Montana. We have been hammering this car over I-90 to Montana all day long. The front end of this thing is disgusting. We left Seattle in the rain and didn't have enough time to cover the nose of the car, the mirrors and whatnot, and tape to protect it basically. And it is just disgusting, littered with bugs. But we made it to Billings okay. We're about a few miles away from the shop that we're having the TGC meet at tonight. We're meeting up with my friend Paul Aspen who we're staying here in Billings with. And uh, so he's farther in town. He's picking us up some food and meeting us at the shop. And uh, yeah, we're just stretching our legs. I've been in the back seat for the last three hours now finishing up episode six, which you've already seen. That's the reveal of the car. And we're sore and tired. We will catch up with you guys at the shop and we'll see what's going on there. We'll see what Billings has for our local scene with a short notice meet. Planned, not planned. How are you feeling? I'm feeling tired. Yeah, you know, quite the excursion. Gerald, nice to meet you. Gerald, nice to meet you. 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 And it, and it illuminates everything right here. It's insane. You can see the, the mirror well. When you turn your blinker on, this illuminates brighter. So you can see this corner of the car well. It gives you a turn on. It's a corner.
He's just over one. Oh, really? Yeah. How you, how you what are you doing, bro? He's a good boy, though. He barks at every customer. Oh, really? <laughs> it's funny when the old uh, Chinese lady <laughs> <or> somebody <laughs> not a... Oh, in the first. We put probably eight hours in today since Spokane, maybe nine. I don't know, it's hours? been a while, probably. And uh, so we're here, uh, our friend Paul got us food, which is awesome. He helped line this whole thing up. And uh, we're gonna hang out here for a few hours. And so far the weather's looking great. How was your guys' drive? It was good. This On a scale is... of one to 10, 10 being highest, how was your drive? What would you rate it It's Montana, so you gotta rate it pretty high. Oh, as yeah. far as the scenery or the car's performance? No, both. no, no. But Let's see both. Both, both categories. Both pretty high up there. Scenery is fantastic. The first, drive, the first drive in the in the new car. Yeah. Okay, so, so out, of, out of 10, what is it? It's an 8.5. 8.5. Yeah. That's, that's pretty eight. damn that's good. good. 8.5. We got a carrier bearing that's gone, so it's <laughs> at like, at like low speed. The shaft's wiggling pretty good, but okay. at 80 miles an hour, that thing is as smooth as smooth as you could ever want it. Like, no road noise, smooth as glass, front seat or back seat. Um, so, if we're gonna talk about the car, yes. I was just telling them the massaging rear seats still work, <laughs> and the fold-out sleeper footrest and all that stuff in the back still works. So and you have to have a translator is, in order to read the interior. <laughs> they just start pressing buttons. And <laughs> See what works. Um, <laughs> scenery, scenery, perfect. Because we hadn't been. I've been through Idaho and Washington before, but not Montana. Did you stop in Coeur d'Alene? We didn't. Dude, get we back all, in your car. We want to go <laughs> back. <laughs> I got a video. I, I appreciate you guys hanging out while this dude is at the shop. Man. Yeah. Cardboard is his favorite toy. Is it is. It? He tears it apart. Sit. Rips Sit. it to shreds. Sit. Huh? Tell him to spin around. Spin around. Spin around. Spin around. Tell him other way. Good boy. Not other way. Other way. Other way. Good boy. Say please. Please. Say please. <laughs> Good boy. I don't have anything to give you though. <laughs> I don't have anything to give you. Um, tell him to whisper now. Make him whisper. Sit. Sit. Say please. No, whisper. Whisper. You have to whisper. You have to whisper. 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 Good boy. Yeah. Whisper. 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 Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, later. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Ian taught him how to whisper in a matter of five minutes. Yeah, it's funny how dogs can pick yeah. that up. We just finished up the TGC meet here at European Performance in Billings, Montana. Super psyched to have uh, Quinn and Ian have us here. It's been uh, an awesome night. Talking shop and uh, we were actually were able to pull the century in detailed a little bit and get the nose covered up in tape, which we've been meaning to do since the get-go of this trip. Bugs and rocks later, uh, we're always doing it before we're home. So we're staying with our friend Paul here in town tonight and making a 13-hour haul to Omaha for the meet there tomorrow night. So we got a haul tomorrow. But thank you so much to the guys here for having us. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're back pretty soon. But we will see you guys in episode 
eight. We're on eight already. We'll see you guys in episode eight for uh, the trip to Omaha and the Omaha meet. One end of it or the, the pull it outside? Or right oh, here? Right here. In the shop would be great. Yeah. Oh.